this is Matt Broderick, editor of the Long Island edition of the Fisherman Magazine. And today we're aboard one of the many boats offered by the Freedom Boat Club to its members, whether at a location close to home or here in Port Jeff, New York, or anywhere in the Northeast for that matter. You can catch fluke, striped bass, bluefish, sea bass, tog, porgies, bluefish, weakfish, and more. And of course, Freedom Boat Club offers members access to a boat at one of the many places throughout the country. Now before you do start fishing though, it's important to familiarize yourself with the fishing regulations in the area. This includes information about fishing licenses, catch limits, and specific fishing seasons. You can usually find this information on the website of your local wild wildlife or fisheries department. Here in New York and most of the coastal states here in the Northeast require everyone to have a saltwater registry card to be eligible to fish. You know, depending on the type of fishing that you choose, you'll need to learn different techniques. This might involve drift fishing, casting, trolling, and jigging. You'll have to know a few knots as well. There's videos, tutorials, also at thefisherman.com that can help you learn the basics. One of the most popular knots is the clinch knot, and I'm gonna show you how to tie it. It's real simple. Take your line, go through the eye on the, your fishing lure. Come through like that, where it's doubled over. Then you're just gonna do one, two, three, four, five, about six twists. It depends on the thickness of your fishing line. So thinner line, more twist, thicker line, less twists. The original hole right here. Take that, pull it tight, cinch it up, and you're good to go. What you're gonna to wanna to do is start with your basic fishing gear and gradually expand your collection as you gain more experience. At a minimum, you're gonna to wanna to use a rod and a reel, about a medium uh, seven footer spinning combo, such as this one right here. It's the most versatile, most e it's the easiest to use. You're gonna want fishing line, hooks, weights, some baits and lures. Uh, bucktails are great for jigging. You, soft plastics as well if you're fishing the bottom for fluke or striped bass. Also, if you're trolling, you can get some trolling lures like this. And if you're doing some other type of jigging, you have soft plastics rigged on jig heads, and you have your diamond jigs as well with tubes on the back and if you like top water action you could always try a popper like this one right here for explosive takes some bluefish and striped bass one of the most important parts about going fishing before even heading out there is researching the spots that you're going to go fish ask around ask people that might be familiar with the spots uh, check fishing apps websites you know for locations um, drop-offs know your water temperatures know your weather too know where structure is as well rock piles a valuable tool for finding that stuff once you're out there uh, in the water that is is a fish finder you can look for your the bait on the screen it even shows game fish by bigger arches on the screen it'll show drop-offs and it will show structure and wrecks which fish like to conjugate around. Keep in mind when you are on a boat from Freedom Boat Club, they do come equipped with some of the state-of-the-art technology when it comes to fish finders. This particular boat right here is equipped with a Simrad unit, excellent model, does a great job at identifying bait structure, game fish, and shows you how to get back home, of course. So one excellent way to cover a lot of ground and be productive as well going for striped bass and bluefish is trolling, the method of trolling. Now this is a, a lip swimmer. It goes down about 20 feet or so, give or take, depending on your speed. Trolling speed is just about in gear, maybe a little bit faster. You can speed it up, slow it down. That's gonna raise and um, lower the lure. The faster you go, the lower it goes. The slower you go, the higher it goes. What you wanna do is you wanna deploy the lure about 150 to 175 feet behind the boat. Once you get to about that spot, you're gonna to wanna to put it, engage your, uh, your reel, and you're gonna feel that lure working on the tip of your fishing rod right there. So right now I feel the lure working. I feel it's swimming. That means it's working correctly. A lot of people, when they troll, they even put the, the rods in the rod holders just like this. And when you see the rod double over, that means a fish just hit you more. It's real easy. You're gonna cover a lot of ground. You're gonna catch fish using this method. 
When you see bluefish and striped bass on the surface of the water, a super exciting and productive technique to use is a popper on the top. Really simple to do. All you gotta do is take your popper, cast it out there. Once it hits the water, you wanna engage your, your reel and pop it. And you're gonna see that lure popping right on the surface. That's gonna draw in the game fish like bluefish and striped bass and you're gonna see the most explosive and exciting hits you'll ever see in your life. Another great technique you could take advantage of is drift fishing. You're gonna be fishing the bottom of the water column when you are drift fishing. I like to use something like a bucktail and when I fish a bucktail, typically I like to uh, bait it with a soft bait. You can bait it with a real bait also, but today we're gonna to be using a uh, Berkeley Gulp baited on our Spro Bucktails. Great way to catch fluke. One of my favorites and most productive ways actually I do catch fluke. So we're gonna bait it right on there where it sits just like that, nice and streamlined. And all you're gonna to wanna to do is, no casting, drop it down on the opposite way the boat is drifting so it doesn't drift underneath the boat. We get it right to the bottom. You can pretty much tell when you're at the bottom when your line will bow out on you. So right now we're on the bottom, we're gonna let out a little bit more to compensate for the, uh, the, um, the angle of the drift. Flip the bail over, and now we're on the bottom. We're just gonna give it a nice little light motion like this, a little drift motion. If you feel more starting to come up off the bottom, you want out a little bit more line. Once you're back on the bottom, you flip your bail over again, and you go back to your nice, subtle jigging motion. Again, this is a great way to catch fluke, one of my favorites. You know, one of the most fascinating parts of fishing, in my opinion, is probably learning about the individual species and what fish will be where at what place in time. Learn these different times of the year and different weather patterns that may bring in these individual species of fish. And if I were to take it even a step further, we would take a deep dive into the local ecosystem, which you know, you gotta know moon phases, water temperatures, the bait that's in the area, um, what's going on under the surface of the water at all times. You know, all these little um, small details come together and they will make or break certain fishing trips for you sometimes. So going the extra step and learning those extra things can definitely pay off big dividends when it comes to fishing for certain species of fish. There's always something new to learn about this great thing we do call fishing. Remember, fishing is meant to be enjoyable, so do take your time, learn from your experiences, and have fun exploring this rewarding outdoor activity. And go to Freedom Boat Club. It's a great way to get started into fishing.